Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. Today uh, we will do, you know, uh, maybe you have seen it, so let's see, maybe you have seen my tutorial with this Nike thing here. And uh, I got some questions about, uh, hello, where is it? Come in. Okay. Uh, if I can show how to make this one here. And so, yes, I want to show how to make this one. I am I work hardly on my updates for the scene week, you know it. But for this we have time and I need a little uh, change. So <laughs> let's make this one. And yeah, but first I want to uh, tell you something. I said first I want to uh, say something. And last time I made the, the tutorial and I complained about the mode text here. And I said, I will show you when I have the mode text and uh, the mode text shows here, where is the, shows here a height of 200 centimeter. And I said, uh, okay, why not give here and, and take here a cube, put it on the floor. And this cube is 200 centimeter too. And you see, this is not the same. And I complained about this and then uh, I got an email from the cleverness himself, Andrew Baker, and he told me why this is so. And of course, he is totally right. I have totally forgot that uh, text uh, don't don't, get, uh, don't go just in one direction. So it goes here. But if I have, if we take this wonderful word, let's uh, word, let's say, lofty, then it goes under the y-axis now too and then we see if we could put the, this on it now we got almost the 200 height so this is why it shows 200 here because it goes under the y-axis here too and so thanks again for your help uh, Andrew I really appreciate your help so thanks a, thanks a lot and yeah this is the reason so now I stop to complain <laughs> about this. Okay, this is just, I want to just tell you this. So now let's make this shoe, this Nike thing. Uh, I saved this picture and uh, now I want to use it as background picture in the front view, just to have the shape of this shoe. So uh, I go in my front view, sh uh, hit shift V for the viewport things settings and I go in the back here and I load an image and I have here some this image of the shoe and I make very very rough uh, shape around this shoe so I take the spline pen here and really this doesn't have to be uh, exact here so just very rough thing here so wonderful and now I, se I select all my points here so I had hit zero on the keyboard select all the points right click and say please have a soft interpolation and now I have the best shoe ever see <laughs> okay this is nice here take this one maybe go to the E for the move tool here and whoops and move this axis a little so so we have a straight thing here and we have our shoe and i don't need my picture here anymore so this is my shoe then let's continue now we put our spline here in an extrude knob in an extrude so i hold the uh, with, with the Spline selected, I hold the Alt key and click on the extrude, so it becomes automatically apparent of this spline. And let's say 100 here. Okay, and I want to make the spline uniform. Go to here, uniform, and that's okay for me. Yeah, this is my shoe, and now I go to my extrude here. And I press, I, I click my edit optimize script, 
somewhere it should be. Whoops, yeah, here it is. Edit. You find uh, every plugin I use here, you find it, the links in the description. This does nothing more than it uh, uh, converts the extrude or uh, any object and then optimizes it. So it makes it all in one. So I hit it and say OK, please. And now I take this polygon and select this polygon. And I for extrude, uh, in extrude, I in extrude, and in extrude it a little bit. So something like that. That's it. More I don't need here. Oops. And I put this in a subdivision surface. Whoop. And I have the best shoe ever. Of course, this is by far not nice, but we don't see the shoe, so it doesn't matter. It's just a, a hull around our uh, soft bodies. Okay, I don't need so many subdivisions. Let's say two should be enough here. And again, I go to my subdivision surface and edit optimize. Okay, so I have my hull for my balls here. <laughs> the hull for my balls. <laughs> Okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> then next step, I make it here X-ray so then I can see inside. And now I need a sphere. Let's make a sphere. About 20 centimeter. And put it in the middle here somewhere. Okay. Then I want to clone this sphere, so I take the sphere, select it and go to the MoGraph cloner, hold my Alt key and click on cloner. But uh, in, my for, uh, in my case here, uh, the cloner is by default deactivated, so I activate him and go to a grid array. <coughs> Sorry, and these are too many of them, so three. Two, two should be okay. And now make this whole thing a little smaller so that it fits inside our hull here, in our shoe. Let's see here something like that should be fine. Let's see here, about 30. Okay. Then uh, the height. Let's say 25 here. And let's see that we have this all in, in our shoe here, so somewhere like that, that should, should work. Okay, and it's okay, and it, it shall overlap here. I want to, that they overlap, and I'll show you why. Next step, I want to make a collider out of our shoe. So I go to my subdivision server, let's see this, see this is the shoe, so right click and go to the simulation text and I want a collider body here and I am um, here in the collider and in the collision tag uh, tab here I have to say uh, static mesh because if it's automatic it does not re recognize that this uh, object is ha uh, hollow so we have to go to static mesh and then it knows it is hollow and we are in we can uh, make our dynamics inside it and on our cloner, we need a rigid body. So we go to, again to, uh, to the simulation text, rigid body. And in the rigid body, we want to inherit that. Yes, please apply to children. So the children is our, our spheres. And here, top level, we are on the top level here. And this should be all. And if we hit now play, something like this happens. And this is not really what I wanted to happen. So it is nice and it could work, but I don't want it like this. What I do now, I, I hit Control D for the project settings here. Go to the dynamics, I'm in the dynamics and to the general tab. And here I disable the gravity. Zero. Go back here and this little script you see here, this is a rewind and play. Um, this does nothing when I hit, hit it, it plays, and when I hit it again, it goes back to the first frame. So, and now, just, uh, yeah, just hit play. 
you see they uh, fly around here. This is exactly what I want. I wanted a nice distribute here in our shoe. But this is not what I want some on the toe here too and something else. So what we do now is we bring in a little turbulence in our whole thing. So go to simulate particles and turbulence and give it well let's say 40 why not and hit play boing you see okay we get some turbulence we get some to the toes maybe 50 uh, that looks not bad what's that here I have I do a short break I'm back in a second so communication done <laughs> so this looks like a nice distribution here and what we can do uh, we can of course bake this thing here so this needs uh, seconds so I, I select my rigid body deck here and say bake object Check ready and now I can scrub through and see if I find a nice position I, I like so something like that maybe that looks quite nice and nothing intersects here this is why I do this I, I want to distribute the, the spheres but I don't want to have intersections then this is the reason I do this with the rigid body here okay yeah it looks nice so far we can change this later on if we want uh, but for, for the moment it's okay okay and because we baked it I can uh, go to each frame I want every frame I want and simply say click on the cloner I have here a current state to object but right click on the cloner and current state to object is the same and now I can hide and deactivate the cloner deactivate the dynamic stack here and here I have all my spheres in this position and now I can uh, if I want I can uh, change the positions manually too because let's say this too this I don't want it like this so I go through my spheres here this one I make it from here this is better and go to my oops word axis here so now I can move it nicely move it to here and be careful uh, that, uh, that you are every time inside the shoe so it looks okay then maybe I do something with this sphere let's see which one this is it should be this one bring it to here somewhere okay then maybe this one is okay and this one may be a little to here this is okay for me this one here I want to have this one yes this one let's see something to here and maybe this one a little to here or this one yeah this we can change this way as I said we can change this later on too is just the first try and see if our soft body works let's see if we don't this is a little too close on the shoe to the shoe maybe uh, and here it is like this and let's see if we have some intersections but we shouldn't have any yeah okay I take this now the next step I select all my spheres and give it a soft body so I go simulation tag and here I, we have the soft body and oh, give it a soft body tag in the soft bodies I go of course to the soft body what I do now I want to blow that up so so uh, I need pressure I start here with 100 and the structural I go to let's say 50 for the moment the structural in the springs does this uh, it makes it, 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 it 100 it, it tries to do make these edges here 
so that they don't stretch or don't contract or something else and if and if you go lower so they have more they can more stretch and more contract and something else so this is the springs and let's see what's what's happened if you press play something like this no, it looks not bad for the moment but I see we have too less pressure and too much structure. So go down with the structure and go up with the pressure to the 200. And now let's see what we get now. That starts to looking good. Let's hide our shoe here. And okay, we pause this animation. What is so far so good? Of course, now we put we take our null object here, hold the Alt key, and click on subdivision surface. Here again, should two should be enough. And you see already we get here nice. <laughs> nice thing. It looks great. This is nice. This is nice. Yeah, I like it like it is. We don't have to change or anything, I think. The only thing that I don't like is uh, these gaps here. They are a little too big for me. But all in all, it's nice. So to uh, reduce these gaps here, I go again with Control D in the project settings. And here in the expert thing, we have a collision margin. And here I go down to 0.1. And uh, if you have some problems with your the dynamic, uh, with this, uh, just uh, go up with the steps per frame. Of course, it needs longer to calculate, but uh, as higher you are here, as, as more accurate the whole thing will be. So I let it down at five with one point, uh, with point 0.1 uh, margin. And I bake this whole animation here. So uh, what I do here is I hit again Control D, and I bring this window out here. So I go to this plus sign here, and it's it's locked now. The reason I do this is so I don't have to uh, select every time the whole thing because. This in the project settings we have a cache tag, and this bakes everything I have here. And so uh, normally when you go here to bake it, when you select this everything, and go to cache bake, you have to select everything first. And here not so. And now I bake it. It's just, this could uh, take some time. So we you know clear the cache here, and bake. You see it, it's uh, not really slow, it could take some time, so I break this, I maybe one, two minutes. So I make a short break. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back and it took about 15 minutes. Okay, two minutes baking and 13 minutes was a sandwich in between. <laughs> so, <laughs> and let's see what we get now. Try it now. We can easily and oh, that's a, that's a good example for what I said. We have this here, and this is a good example for uh, I clear the cache in the expert setting for go up with the steps. I go just to 10, that should be okay for these problems here. And I cache again, clear cache, and bake again, and let's go to the fridge. See you later. <laughs> okay, back and let's see what we get now. If it's better. You see, we have no problem anymore. Just with five frame, uh, subframes more, we get this one. Nice. We have a very close stones or balls here you see we have no gap in between here we have great really great soft body thing here 
and we have the the shoe <laughs> so it let's make a little thing so something like a little color variation this looks more this looks more like a, <laughs> a grainy render but uh, i think this they want it like this but why not this is it, it looks nice of course i, I love everything from, from the guys who do, do this but let's see uh, let's make our own thing here so the animation is ready so i can uh, let's save this shoe too so okay and i of course take you know it you guess it so we can disable the turbulence here well we could delete everything here but oh why doesn't matter i use my nicomedia scene rig of course to light everything and make it nice and whatever go to my nicomedia scene rig so I don't need the floor, you see, I have the rig ultimate here. It's almost, everything's almost ready. So, floor, floor off. And we need some texture. I need simple plastic texture, so we take a plastic texture, you know, this will come with the new Thin Rig Pro and Ultimate, of course. In the plastic texture you have some, uh, in the custom channel we have some uh, just glossy and color, we don't, uh, I don't need, if you if you guys want more uh, settings here, please tell me, I will do it in the next update, uh, because I, I think I will use here some bump too, but I could do it here in the custom channel, I could do bump uh, everything what you want, but I think it's, if we need bump, I can go in, in, the, in the thing, this is just for a, uh, a quick uh, basic material you know but if you want more just tell me and i will find the time and i make an another update of course so i take here in the texture just uh yeah uh i do it now here that you see how it works in the new version in a new uh, thing but you can do everything of course here in the reflective channel diffuse uh, this is this, this diffuse is this texture here is this color texture this is here and the texture this texture here is this texture here or you can do this in the color channel too with, with the variation thing so this is how you, however you want it but I want to show how the, it works with the new uh, rig then so I go to here to the texture and go to the effects and I'm making variation shader here variation variation is nice and i drag this variation on the cloner here let's see what we get now i hate it when when i have to to drag here around and here so here okay we have definitely variation <laughs> i want GI. So then I don't want this this colorful thing here. What I want is some slight variation. So so I go back to my um, thing here. I again I bring this window out and it's locked and this is what I want here. So the variation shader. Oh, let's go here. Up. I have here a gradient, and with this gradient, I can. Uh, now it's just everything at random. This is random colors. I can see the colors here, so I get different randomness. You see it here. But I want to work with the gradient here. So when I just now say to the random color, zero percent, makes nothing. When I go here to the gradient blend and say 100%, we get blue to white. You see it here? And I don't want it normal, I want it to replace so I get the full color here. This is what I want, but I don't. I want a slight, really slight 
pinkish thing here and like that okay to about control drag this to here to about come back to this monitor hey <laughs> so <laughs> to something like that and now I have a very slight variation in this maybe it's too slight let's go with this one a little less saturation okay yeah exactly and it's a little too shiny for me so I go back here in the material go to my glossy tab here to my glossy section and give it roughness looks better but I want another lighting I just don't want it just here maybe let's play with the reflections a little bit so I go to my HDRI settings here and we have the preview here and I start to rotate the preview so as you now I got light from left and right oh uh, um, yeah this looks nice and maybe let's rotate it vertically do a little bit it gives sometimes really nice effects Ah, this I like. Here's nice. Here's nice. Now this is exactly what I like. That looks great. We have wonderful soft bodies. The, the, the texture is okay. The light is okay. Just let's play a little with the background. So, what do I do? Ah, I bring back the texture again because let's it out I want to make a background now so go to my rig here background and wall and I want to make here with the gradient here a gradient here in the background and I want to use the same colors like I have here in my variation shader in the, here so what I do is I take the bright color of the background and wall of the gradient go to my eyedropper here and take this color okay and now i go to the darker come back to the monitor take the eyedropper and go to this color here and say okay you see i have this let's make the brightness a little down and we have a nice render here and everything with the rig this everything is for the pro rig for this we don't need an ultimate but don't forget every everyone who pay, uh, who buys the, the rig pro before the update comes out the next one will get the ultimate version for free so it will be the update on the to the ultimate version so yeah that looks great so let's maybe they are too gray let's let's go again to the in the variation shader and then a little more to the right mm. yes why not let's let's see how this looks without ambient occlusion maybe the, or we uh, turn off the ambient occlusion makes the difference or makes it no difference not much. Oh, so I let it, let it be. Of course, it, it gets better here. We are very grainy because we are at extreme low resolution here, we are extreme low settings. Let's make a higher render. So I go to the render settings. Stop this one. Go to the render settings and make a render middle GI render. Let's see how long this renders. Shift R and it. Oops. Yeah, then can I show you the something? This one is quite fast. We have this grainy look now too. But uh, not only I don't want this grainy look, but here it looks again. It looks good. It looks like the original one. But I, I think I'd make a higher render because I want to make some some bump in this. Uh, what you have seen here is. Uh, 
a test from the ultimate. When I would not, I don't know, this is the pro version too. You can, you can in the pro version of the rig, you can then give your own textures, your custom textures, and you have the possibility to make everything with the slider too. And you can put in bump maps, uh, roughness maps, peculiarity maps, your normal maps. Here, this is with no maps, with nothing. Just it's just uh, peculiarity, and here is with with uh, normal maps. You see the difference? And you can everything do in in the in the rig. So and with 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 a very few clicks. But before the rig comes out, so I make a video, of course, so you see everything. But you see the big difference here. And this we will get. So this is done in in, in very few clicks. In, in in not not a minute for for this one. Okay, this is our shoe now. And uh, yeah, as what I said is, uh, I want to give it some bump. And now the bump. I don't have the bump now here in the settings. As I said, if you want it in the settings, tell me you you will get it. I don't need here the preview anymore. Bye bye. Back here. And now I'm, I open. You can still work here. Of course, you can't do anything here in the what what is in the, in in here in the custom channel. You can't change here because this is uh, uh, controlled by Express. So, so I uh, but I can go to the bump channel and uh, go back here to the low GI and make again the render preview here. And go a little closer to see what we do. And in the bump, I say I want uh, to take the surface with tiles. I want just black and white tiles here. Make this white, drag it down to here. Let's see here, one, five, so, something like that. Let's see if we get something. Yeah, we get this nice, see this, these nice things here. It's nice pattern here, and today it looks so nice because we uh, we have this on the UV map now, and that is that is the nice organic structure now. And I want it, let's say, the global scale to fifty. Yeah, that looks very nice. And I will now do a higher render, so I go to higher settings. And I render it and I'll be back in a second for you. So I'm back and you see uh, the render time is ridiculous. So, and we have a great render here. And I did the same, we have 1 minute 24 here. And I did the same render with, without ambient occlusion. And in this case it makes no difference. You see, it looks exactly the same. But look at the render time. We have a half minute less here without. <laughs> so. Let's render it with a, and look at this nice shape here. I love this. Okay. Yeah, that's it for this. I think we can be really satisfied. I like this. Uh, maybe I would work in Photoshop a little bit uh, and uh, yeah, maybe make the blacks a little less black. Let's let's see what we can do. Maybe we open the, uh, but when I open our Photoshop, I have to open it again because it's on 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 ultra high. It's in on on ultra high HD, ultra HD, UHD, UHD. Yeah, here we know it. But you know my things. How I do this with with the what I do in Photoshop. You have seen it in other tutorials. Maybe you can play with the filter a little bit. Let's see here, fifteen and saturation five and uh, yeah, it doesn't matter I would do it in Photoshop <laughs> but let's get this this is not bad so and I like uh, maybe you you not but I like this 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 kind of dirty things this is where, where they are pressed on the on the hull I like this kind of dirty. Uh, I really like this render. Okay, so this is it for today, and I hope you liked it. I hope you, you, uh, yeah, you are satisfied with it. <laughs> and uh, and I see you in the next tutorial, hopefully. And but this will come. Uh,
I think it will come after the uh, release of the update. So the update will come on Sunday. During the day, I can't say when exactly on Sunday. And until you have time, uh, until this uh, Sunday, you have time to buy it if you don't have it uh, already and get the ultimate version uh, free. And yeah, maybe I do such uh, things like this, uh, but needs a half an hour, so I can't do in between. So, so for me, it's it's uh, good to do. So, so I have a little change in it. I have a little beer in between or a sandwich or something else. So yeah. That's it. I hope you liked it and uh, hopefully see you in the next video. And yeah, I've, as I said, every uh, plugin I use, everything I use, uh, you will find in the description of the video. Uh, and you will find there a donation link if you want to donate a little bit. It's Christmas time. And <laughs> if you want to support me on Patreon, uh, there you will find there a link too. And yeah, and you will find a link to my uh, Facebook group where you can post your tutorial results or you can post your results, your, 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 your pictures when you want to show them. And you, if you wanna, want that people speak about or discuss uh, about your pictures or so, you can post it on my group and uh, you can find help there, of course. And so you will find the link to the group in the description too. And yeah, it would be nice if you join us on, on, on Nico Media's tutorial, ask questions, have fun and whatever <laughs> the group. So, okay, that's, that's it now here. It's evening, so I wish you a nice evening and uh, see you soon, promised. And uh, I promise you, uh, you will get a great update for the scenery. Can't you see what, what nice things you get in, in it really in not a minute you have uh, such a flower or something else okay so let's say bye bye tschüss und baba